beautiful. Well, as you come into the tropical pool area, there's that ceiling that I was telling you about, just up there. So today, I imagine, because it's fairly sunny, they're gonna open that up. It's got a nice little swimming pool in the middle. Let's go and take a quick look at that. Nice little swimming pool. It's fairly quiet today because everybody's going to be getting off ship at 12 o'clock. We've got a short stay in Vigo and you've got jacuzzis either side. When we do deck 16, we'll be up top and we'll be able to show you a bit more. You can see a bar over at the far end there. Let's go and check that out. Like I said, you've got a couple of jacuzzis either side, swimming pool, paddling pool, whatever you want to call it. It does get very, very busy in here, um, especially if the weather is quite cold or chilly or windy, which it has been for the last couple of days. But it's very, very humid in here, very warm, which is pretty pleasant. You know, you can sit here, get a drink from the bar, cup of tea, whatever you want, chill out and relax and look out to sea and check out the uh, oncoming beautiful place of Vigo which I'm really looking forward to because we've not been there before. Right, as you leave the tropical pool area you go to the outside Lido there. Now this is where it really all happens. <laughs> Why do they put handles if it's a sliding door? I don't understand that. <laughs> And there we go. Now this is where it all happens on deck 15. Wow, we've had parties up here. Discos late into the evening. They have competitions throughout the day. You can get extra towels from this gentleman there. As you can see, there's lots and lots of spaces and chairs for people. There has been a few difficult issues with people putting towels on early on in the day, but um, hopefully they take them off and things like that. So you can bring your own towel down from your room, which you do get, or you can get them from that station there. Now, at the front of the ship, outside, you've got the stage. You can see a bit of a dance class going on. I participated in one or two of them. So, uh, if you want to do that, and it's a real mixture of like salsa, tango, all sorts, all kinds of dancing throughout the day. Like I said, competitions as well. One, two, three, four. And also, like I was telling you, they've had some live performances. The Freddie Mercury tribute. We are the champions. Fantastic, you'll see it on another video. It'll be down below, so we'll drop the link for you guys. You've got a couple of little paddling pools, swimming pools, the jacuzzis are upstairs, which we'll check out on the deck 16 tour. But on deck 15, you've got a couple of showers either side, and of course, you've got a bar at the end. Let's go see what they've got on offer today. One, two, three, end of the pool we have the atmosphere bar and ice cream bar where you obviously get all your ice creams get your drinks get your teas get your glasses of wine and also throughout the day they have guys going around with a trolley with sangria which you can buy can't add it to your room but you can buy it there i do believe so that one is open right the way throughout the day from morning to night there's one just setting up there let's go and have a look what he's got so there we go, as I was just saying, good morning, so as I was just saying, you just saw him there, a guy selling sangria, he goes all the way around the deck, just a little bit of a wonder each day, trying to get people to buy drinks, which is absolutely fine, and you've got a little bar there just in case that one gets really, really busy. 
Uh, I might add that on the left hand side, as you come through, the left hand side of the swimming pool is the smokers area for all of you smokers. Alright? <laughs> great fun. There's a load of guys we've had some great chats with. And we've got another bar there, it's the Atmosphere Bar South. Now later on for the day, you can get your hot dogs, beef burgers, pizzas from around midday and that gets really, really busy. Let's move on, shall we? I love it, I love it, excellent. <laughs> get that one in. Love it. Right, so where are we next? So after you come out of the outside pool area, you go into the marketplace. Now we have done a, a breakfast buffet tour and we've done a lunch time. We're not going to do an evening one because it's pretty much the same food at lunch time that you'll get in the evening. But there are midnight snacks which is your cakes, your sandwiches and of course pizzas as well which is really really good. Pizza is probably the best food on the ship but that's just my opinion and I've eaten far too much of it. I really really have and um, those scales are going to love me once I get back home. They'll probably break or something like that. So we go through to the marketplace You've got toilets either side of the pool and at both ends and some wash basins there because obviously you want to keep everybody's hands clean. Into the marketplace, you will see it on a video, but this is just going to be a quick walkthrough. At this near end you've got the family and kids area so they can just chill out, you know, have as much food as they like, stuff their bellies before going and walking off on shore in Vigo today. Let's do a quick walkthrough. Is it your birthday? Is that a birthday card? Happy birthday to you! Fantastic! There we go, we've had tons of birthdays on the ship. It was Max's yesterday, Hannah's last week, and a little chap there. Fantastic, so we're just going to do a quick walkthrough, give you a quick idea of what the marketplace looks like. It's open almost 24 hours a day, where you can come, fill up your belly, grab your drinks, teas, coffees, juices, all that type of thing. But it does get very, very busy, as you can see. Especially around midday, sort of yeah, 9 o'clock in the morning, around 12 to 1, and then of course around 6 to 7. Very, very busy. This is the centre of it. Yeah. The marketplace is in like a figure of eight. A lot of people just congregate at the front, but there are food stores at the very back which don't get as busy, so there's a good little tip for you. Go to the back of the ship and you'll get exactly the same food that you would at the front, but a lot of people don't know about it. Now breakfast goes on right the way up to midday. So if you fancy a little bit of iron, or if you don't get your wake up call, which unfortunately Bradsky, our family, didn't get, don't worry, you won't miss breakfast because like I said it's on till 12 o'clock. And then they change to the lunch menu. So that is the main hub of the marketplace. Like I said, either end tends to be a little bit more quieter. It is coming up to around 11 o'clock right now, so it is still fairly busy because everybody's going to be getting off at midday today. So I guess they're just filling up before they get off ship. Now right at the back of the ship, at the back of the marketplace, on deck 50, you've got toilets either side for the gents and for the ladies, and of course some hand washing basins as well. Cleanliness is key. But I'm just going to add something. Okay. Since day one, yep. there's not been any soap. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> MSC, get some soap in there. So there we are, that is deck 15. Thank you so much for joining us on that one. I'm looking forward to doing deck 16 a little later today. And as you can see behind me, the beautiful islands are a Vigo. Cannot wait to get on land today. So a huge thank you to each and every single one of you, wherever you are in the world. Have a fantastic day. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because we'd love to take you with us on all of our adventures. And if you've got any comments about the ship or about what you've seen in this this particular video stick them down below and myself or Sarah will get back to you very very soon and um, what else can I say have a fantastic one share a smile and be kind to each other
Salvador.